Another episode in the public land range use and misuse and mismanagement in the Gilpin. In 2014, public-minded citizens replaced a fence along the northeast side of Lost Lake with wildlife-friendly fencing, all at their own cost. The original fence and waterer were installed by Ministry of Forest and Range Branch several years earlier. A fence which was not wildlife-friendly, one that failed to prevent cattle damage and off-road vehicle damage as shown in the images before the fence replacement. In 2015, Range Branch, Ministry of Forest and the Ministry of Environment installed signage and a seating bench at Lost Lake, some six years after their original fence construction. The signage is placed looking down the length of the new fence. Viewers of the sign might expect that this new wildlife friendly fence was the work of government. Not so. Ministry of Forest, in fact, has resisted installing wildlife friendly fencing despite the advice of the Forest Practices Board. Cows used some additional signs as rubbing posts, quickly wrecked them. They could have been placed inside the fence. The bench seat celebrates off-road usage in the area. The scars on the land from such activities will be apparent in future productions. We wonder if those supporting or sponsoring the signage are fully aware of the damage done to public land by range cattle and off-road activities. The serial misrepresentations of the main sign spelled out in detail on a Boundary Alliance website article in January 2016. Yet another example of range management wasting public funds and resources in support of a range use which makes no economic or ecological sense. From the new fence and its protected zone, we go to the still in place original fence on the southwest side. Cattle damaged fences, cattle trampled water's edge, an unused water on a public cost that would have prevented some of the encroachment on the pond, rutted road access to the site after windfall removed to make access for signage. Then back to the new fence and what might be with proper setbacks or better still no cattle grazing. 